Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions of Rana Harman. So thanks to the subscriber who has shared us this question. I encourage all of you who are attending interviews, please share your questions so that you know we can help each other in the community. But before we get started, a small request to everyone. You know, we are very close to 10k subscribers and i think we are at 9.7 please like share and subscribe so that we can reach this milestone all thanks to you and here we go so you know i am saying that you know there are a few scenarios in the list that were shared first question is percentage difference of sales okay between your current month versus three months now when you get such question what is the first thing that you need to do First thing you need to do is find out sales for your current month, right? This is the first step. Now, likewise, you need to find out the sales for your third month, okay? Three months back is stating, not last three months. So last three months means, again, the calculation will be different, okay? He's saying last three months back, okay? So for that, I'm just going to a tableau here. And I will connect to, I'll take my order date and maybe at a month level okay, so that uh, you know, we know. Now here, where are we right now? We are in July. If you, res uh, if you talk with respect to today's uh, thing, right? We are in 2024 and July. Now I want to get sales for that. So what I can do is we can simply write a calculation like this. If my year of order date is equal to year of today, this will fix it to current year. And likewise, I am using an another function called as month of order date is equal to month of sim today. Simple at a month level, I'm trying to equate it. Okay, so I'm not getting into the complex uh, where, you know, date should be less than today and all. You can write that calculation also so that, you know, it is not taking any dates which are in future. Like say 2022, we might have dates which are above 2022 July. We don't want that. So in that case, you can write something and order date is less than or equal to today. Simple. You can write this as well. Now this will be for current month and this will give you dates till today. Right. So you got all the dates. Now, this is the calculation that I have written. If you have alternate version, you can send it or write it in comment section. Let us see, you know, how many of you will come up with that. Okay. So I'm just, uh, you know, taking, clicking on this apply and okay. Now, if I try to drop it onto my label, I'm getting sales for my current month, 34,000. Right. Now, likewise, I want to get it last three months back. Now, July will be my current month. Right. So one month. June will be two and May. Okay, so you here you need to get clarity. You can check with your client whether he is expecting sales uh, for May or for April. Based on that, you can change the calculation of you know your three months logic. Here simply I have written minus two to the calculation that we have written. Year of same thing and month of order date is equal to month of today minus two so which means july minus two i'm getting because july is our current month so either it should be minus two or minus three you can check and clarify and then you can write so here let us assume uh if i write three it should give me sales for my april because one two three i'm taking if i don't consider july this will be my third month but if i am considering my july it should be something like this okay third month now now what i'm doing is i am taking at a category level so that we are aware of the sales now for each category if you see okay For each category, your current month sales is this and third month sales is this. Now we need a difference, right? So simply we can use uh,
So current month sales minus your three months sales or sum of your current month sales minus sum of your three month sales. That's it. So now if we do this, it will give us a sales of last three months. So this way you can solve it. Okay, so that is the first question. Now, second is find a top three subcategory sales in each category. So again, this is also very uh, easy, but it should be done uh, using context filter. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to drag my sales, uh, sorry, subcategory and sales onto my label. We'll get this. Now we need top three subcategory items, right? So I'm taking my subcategory, dropping it on filter shelf, going to top. So we need top three. Click on apply. Okay. So we got top three here. Okay. Now, if I try to drag and drop category here, this is for different subcategories. Let's say furniture, we have chairs, office supply, storage, technology, phones, which means this top three are calculated on the whole level. We need, we need top three subcategories in each category, right? So what we can do here, so we can add context to uh, category to filter shelf. I'm selecting apply. Okay. Now I'm adding add to context here. I'm doing now. Now when I select that, we will get it. Okay. That is one way where we can get uh, top three subcategories for each uh, this thing. So this is one way where uh, if I'm selecting a particular category, I'll get top three. But I want, like, say, uh, for each subcategory, I want to display, right? So let us do it another way. I'm just taking this and I am also dropping it, my subcategory here. And I'm also taking my sales and dropping it on label, right? Now observe in, ca in furniture. I need a top three, like say, if I try to solve it, uh, sort it, chairs, tables, and bookcases I need from furniture, storage, binders, and appliances I need from office supplies, and phones, machines, and accessories I need from this. So simply what I'm trying to do is uh, you can either use a rank function or you can use an index function, okay? Uh, I'm simply using index function because I have already sorted my view and index i'm just using it apply okay sorry let us i'm just writing index apply and i'm just bringing it right next to this and i'm making it discrete now we got this right so now I want this index number to start for every category level, right? So I'm just trying to see if we can do it using compute using category, uh, maybe subcategory, sorry. Now what happens for every category item, it is restarting from one. Same operation, you need to do it at rank level also. This is one thing. Now I can simply update my calculation and uh, drop it here. So we need one, two, three. Con apply. Okay. So here also we need to compute using subcategory. Now you got three in furniture, three in office supplies, three in technology. Like this you can solve. Okay, so you can use index function or you can use rank function. So that's second way, two approaches. How will you create a donut chart? Again, uh, you know, very simple. First, you need to create a pie chart. Maybe region-wise sales I'm taking. Maybe and convert that into a pie chart here. Okay, I'll make it entire view. 
now what i'm doing is i just want to duplicate this so i'm taking min of 1 and uh, duplicate this we got it maybe i'll swap it so from one i am one of them i am removing everything here okay so this one sales and this one okay decreasing the size of that and i'll just use the second one and click on dual axis so that it merges okay now i'll just convert the color to white so that it becomes a donut chart now i can adjust my size according to my view or my dashboard and your donut chart is ready okay so you always need to check this against your dashboard size and define the values or define the size so now if i drag and drop it here this is your individual sales and this is your overall sales that is your donut chart likewise what is fixed lod fixed lod means we can you know talk about how we can write lod expressions anything that is in your flower basis and types of lod is fixed include exclude and uh, overall like say table level that we can talk and we can also tell the syntaxes and all so filters using parameter again so uh, i'm just trying to create a scenario here where i want to filter the view based on the parameter that I'm selecting. Okay, so for that, I'm taking my, again, my category item, and then I'm taking my sales, simple. Let us try to see, you know, we can do it or not. I'm just trying to take, uh, sorry, first I'm trying to create a parameter here with list of values, and maybe I'll take uh, select, category I'm taking of uh, string type and uh, list I want. So add values from category I'm taking. Okay. So where did it here? So we got all the values here. Click OK. So our values is uh, our parameter is ready. Show parameter. Okay. So step one is ready. Now, whatever the category I will select, it has to be filtered. That is one, right? So simple, simple calculation. Know if you, you can, you know, comment in the comment section if you know. Okay, you can pause the video here and you can uh, tell the calculation. We'll see, you know, your preparedness. Uh, I'm simply writing the name as p dot select category. So same name of uh, parameter I'm using, but I'm adding P in the uh, front, prefixing it so that I am aware I'm using a parameter within this calculation. Okay, so I'll simply write a category if category is equal to select or I can simply use something like this. Category is equal to select category. That's it. Click on apply. Okay and I'll drop it on filter shelf. Select true, apply, okay. Now whatever the category I am choosing, only that value I will get like that. So I can go it at a subcategory level also. Okay, so three questions, three interesting scenarios they have given. Next few were related to, you know, SQL. In SQL self join with scenario example was given. Uh, population state wise and district wise using SQL against straightforward SQL here blending so why and when we use blending whenever we have a different data source we can go with the blending scenario uh, cross database join over blending okay so so these were the questions that were asked in Herman company I hope, I hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to you know share your valuable feedback in the comment section and do like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day